And now at 4.30, a driver who was supposed to be taking care of a deve developmentally disabled man is accused of leaving him to die in a hot car. Now the victim's mother is talking about her quest for justice. NBC 4's Tony Shin live at the Pomona Courthouse with her story and the charges the suspect now faces. Tony. Yeah, Michael and Carolyn, you know, the victim's mother says that she's been waiting for this arraignment for more than a year. She's hoping what happened to her son won't happen to anyone else. I, I miss my son. He, he was my world. He, he was my purpose in life. Choking back tears, Irene Melendez says her 51-year-old son, Timothy Cortinas, had the intellectual capacity of a two-year-old. He couldn't carry on a, a you know, conversation. He couldn't say sentences. Which is why Irene says she hired Easter Seals of Southern California to provide 24-hour disability care for her son. But on August 3rd of last year, a company transportation driver allegedly left Timothy in the back seat of a car for several hours. And that particular day, it was um, 98 degrees in Covina. He just sat there and fried to death. The driver has been identified as Emmanuel Ariano. Irene says he was supposed to drop Timothy off at a group home. Instead, investigators say Ariano drove to his own home in West Covina and apparently forgot that Timothy was in the back seat. It's terrible what he did. How could he just forget him? How could he have just done that? Ariano is now facing criminal charges, including involuntary manslaughter. Irene has also filed a civil lawsuit against Ariano and Easter Seals of Southern California. The, the negligence is so egregious, it's beyond anything we have seen in any case. Why was he at his mother's house? Why was he home while he's, while he's caring for a de dependent adult? Irene says she filed the lawsuit in part because she wants more safety procedures put in place so this doesn't happen again. She also believes there are more victims of neglect and is hoping they come forward. Everybody failed my son. You know, and it's, it's just so wrong. Now, we tried to contact attorneys representing Ariano and Easter Seals, but so far, we have not heard back from them. Reporting live in Pomona, I'm Tony Shin, NBC4 News.